After explaining the Flux model and covering the top interface of the application, this section was explained in the last video. Now, let's check this generation. The first is sampling method. This schedule type is together with the sampling method. The image generation process starts with an image full of noise. The noise is then removed and you get a clear picture as an output. What happens in between can be called a denoising process. The denoising process is based on some mathematical formulas and logic. After each denoising process, a sample is taken. These are the sampling steps. This sample eventually becomes clear as a final image. There are multiple methods of taking samples, which affect the final image. Also, there are schedules, which guide the process of removing noise from the image. This is what the sampling and scheduler does. Next, the sampling steps controls the number of samples to be taken in the process of image generation. Next is high rays fix, or I should say high resolution fix. If I check this box, you will see the image resolution. Height and width increases to a different size. The base image size is taken from the below weight and height fields. This section is about increasing the image resolution generated by AI. After opening this section, the first option is named Upscaler. You can select from multiple upscalers. The default works well. You can also add a different upscaler in the folder ESRGAN. Inside models, even upscaling has steps and denoising strength. It is because the upscaling process also includes a similar denoising process. If I copy the seed ID and paste it here to generate a similar image, and increase the upscale by from 1 to 1.5. You will see the new resolution here. If compared with the previous image, the head is facing right in the upscaled image. Upscaling changes the image most of the time. There is this CFG scale. Controls the level of adherence to the prompt we wrote while upscaling the image. This gives a different aspect ratio to upscale the image. The character get deform if we change the aspect ratio too much. I tried using this upscaler with Flux BNB model. It was unexpected, but the image did not change. Next is the refiner. I searched for the stable diffusion XL refiner, and this is where I should get a refiner. I will download this file and keep it with the stable diffusion checkpoints. After the download, back to Forge. I will check the refiner and open the section. I will refresh and select the refiner. You can see the sampling steps are 20. The refiner switch at is 08, which means the refiner will be activated after the 16th step while generating the image. I will make it 0.6 because I want to use the refiner after the 12th step. I will use the seed to generate a similar image for comparison. The moment refiner started, I got an error and image generation failed. While looking for a solution, I found other people reporting the same problem. I updated the thread for the same problem. Hope it will be fixed soon. Next is the batch count. If I increase the count as 4, the batch will be processed one by one four times. It's fast because the batch size is small right now. If I change the count to 1 and increase the size by making it 2, as per the count, only one generation was processed, but two images were generated. Having multiple images or larger batch size will occupy more graphic memory. Next is CFG scale. Lower will give the AI more freedom to be creative, while higher numbers force it to stick more to the prompt. 
Changing into flux model gives an extra input field, a distilled CFG scale. To keep it simple, let's make it clear to use distilled CFG for flux and keep the normal CFG at 1 when using flux. Seed is used to generate a similar image if the prompt and other values are similar to the older image. You just need to paste the seed number from the image. This button with white cube will make the seed value from a number to minus 1. Minus 1 lets you generate different images. This green recycle button gives you the seed of the last generated image. This extra checkbox gives few more options. Let's look at variation seed and variation strength. I will copy the seed of this image. Next, I will generate a second image. In the output folder, I have both the image, first and second. I will open the image for comparison. The seed of the first image I copied is in the seed input field. And the seed of the second image goes in the variation seed input field. The variation option is capable of generating an image that can be somewhere in between both the images. The variation strength controls the blend of these images. Keeping zero will result in image more like the first image. Increasing its value will generate image closer to the second image. This image is somewhere in between the first and the second image I generated before. Keeping the variation strength to zero and the image is similar to first image. Increasing to maximum gives the second image. Keeping in the center gives a mix of both. This features were made for stable diffusion and now works with flux model as well. The strength is at 0.5, and for some reason it generated a doll. Keeping the strength at 0.25, and the result is acceptable. At 0.3, the result is acceptable. The doll image happens when the strength is at 50%. Next is resize seed from the width and height. When generating an image similar as before, we need seed and other values to be exact, as it was before. The seed does not work if we change the image size. This resize seed function will let us change the size of an image. Let's check if the image changes. To do so, I will first make variation seed be at default value. I will increase the image size above. Try keeping the aspect ratio same or else the image may get deformed. The image needs to be resized from its original size. That was 1024 pixels. Keep the seed of the previous image you want to resize. Old image size goes here, and the new size in the above input fields. This is not needed. The character got changed because the seed I kept in the input field belongs to the first image of the previous example. Changing the image size to 1080 pixels on the same image keeps the character as it is. Actually, the difference is not noticeable. If you see, the head is slightly backwards. I increased the size to the maximum, and it became a different image. Also, it took 11 seconds for a single iteration. I tried this with the flux model, we'll check with stable diffusion later. Let me know what should be covered next in Forge UI.